Is this the end for Delonte West? How much worse can it get? Some really sad videos have been circulating the internet of the former NBA player and LeBron James teammate. People who have been close to him in the past have expressed their concern. Athletes who have likely never met him have chimed in. How did it get this bad for a former first round pick? What were the warning signs along the way? What role does that NBA conspiracy play into all this? And why, if so many people are concerned, has he not gotten help already? We'll tackle all these questions in today's video. Hey guys, I'm Casey Kiernan, host of the AM Hoops YouTube channel. If you want to support the channel, we're coming out with three quality NBA videos every single week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. You can hit subscribe and hit notifications as well. Let's start with the latest. Someone posted a Snapchat video of Delonte West being beaten in the middle of the road. A man was stomping and hitting him while Delonte lay defenseless on the ground. Then this video came out of Delonte apparently cursing at cops, saying that man had a gun. Man, I walk down the street. The man approached me with an eye button with a gun. You approach me, where's his gun at? I don't give a f Okay. Do you know where his gun is? I don't give a f not long after, his former college teammate, Jameer Nelson, said on Twitter, I'm sick today, my stomach right now, seeing the videos of Delonte. To answer everybody that's reached out to me about this situation, all we can do is pray for him and his family and hope that he seeks the proper help. Mental illness is something that a lot of people deal with and don't even know it until sometimes it's too late. He goes on to say he's in Delonte's corner and that if anyone feels like they're dealing with mental illness to reach out to a doctor. Then their former coach at St. Joe's, Phil Martelli said, over the past several hours, I have talked with many who are willing to help. Please read and embrace Jameer's wisdom. We are reaching out to our basketball network to get the professional help Delonte needs. This is so very painful. People have come out and criticized Jameer Nelson and their former coach for being so vocal about it now that these videos have blown up. They say that people so close to Delonte must have known for years that he was dealing with serious issues in his personal life. And while that may be true, it's also true that Delonte West has been offered help in the past and rejected it. Not only was he diagnosed with a mental illness and refused to accept it, he was a part of NBA franchises for years. Pro sports teams go to great lengths to help medically their athletes. If anyone had the resources to get help, it was Delonte West. But to understand how really tragic this NBA to homeless story is, you gotta understand what kind of person Delonte West once was. This is a man who spent his off days in the NBA helping the homeless. Now the tables have turned, literally, for a former first round draft pick. Delonte West didn't have the best upbringing, as you can imagine. He said in an interview he was, quote, happy poor, and that, quote, I lived in so many apartments with cousins, uncles, and aunts just making it. West had a successful college career at St. Joseph's in Philadelphia. He and Jameer Nelson were one of the best backcourts in the country. They made it to the Elite Eight in Delonte's junior year, finishing 30-2. The Celtics drafted Delonte 24th overall in 2004, and he quickly became a fan favorite because of his personality. Dude was super likable, like the way he pronounced wire hanger. I have a hanger, like the little wire hanger, a wire hanger. Or how he once told a rookie he better have his donuts. Train, planes, and automobiles. You better have my donuts. Or what about this Valentine's date idea he shared with ESPN? Quote, we're going to my yacht. We have dinner set up on the boat. From there, we're doing a midnight skinny dipping jump, all right? And from there, hopefully, she's got money because I hope Jaws gets her. Boom, make sure she's got me in the will. Bank, I'm good. Oh well, shark got her. That kind of stuff endeared him to fans, teammates, and the media. Almost everyone was a fan of Delonte West. And on the court, he progressed as well. Delonte was traded to Seattle in the Ray Allen deal, then to Cleveland a few months later. His progression continued as a Cav where he became a starter alongside LeBron James. He shot 46% from the field and 40% from deep, but had a bigger impact on defense. West guarded every position, and he even had an eight-steal game against the Heat. In the 08-09 season, though, troubling signs emerged. 
he blew up on a high school referee who was working a preseason game. At the time, Delonte said, quote, I felt a feeling of anger and I just wanted to throw it all away and quit the team. I needed help. He got help. He took some time off, saw a therapist, and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. See, people with bipolar disorder have emotional swings. One day they'll be depressed and the next day they'll be manic. And this diagnosis seemed to fit Delonte West because he actually said in another interview, one day he'd not be able to get out of bed. And then the next, quote, I might just go out and buy a car or go to the mall and spend 25 grand. As unstable as that sounds, people live successful lives all the time with bipolar disorder. But the problem with Delonte was after an initial acceptance, he rejected that diagnosis. In 2014, he told Slate.com he didn't think the doctor took into consideration that such behavior might not be unusual for a pro athlete with a big paycheck. He began to think he was just suffering temporary depression and not showing symptoms of any chronic disorders. And by the way, all that is perfectly fine if Delonte is right. But if the doctor was right and Delonte refused an accurate diagnosis, that could lead to some serious problems. Before the 2009 season, Delonte was arrested on weapons charges. He was pulled over for a traffic stop while riding a three-wheel motorcycle. He was found to have a Beretta pistol in his waistband, a Ruger 357 Magnum revolver strapped to his leg, and a Remington 870 shotgun in a guitar case across his back. All of the weapons were loaded. During this time, he married and divorced his high school sweetheart in a month. And even though he was still in the league, Delonte felt like his life was falling apart. But at that time, one teammate really stepped up with support. Delonte said, quote, LeBron sat with me in the locker room for an hour and was just wrapping it up with me, giving me words of encouragement. Keep in mind, practice was still going on. He left practice and sat with me. My spirits were so high at that point, I don't know what would have happened had I left in the condition I was in prior. It's a testament to the type of person he is. In the playoffs though, one of the biggest NBA conspiracies of all time came to light. The Cavs had just wrapped a 61 and 21 season with the NBA's top seed. MVP LeBron James opened the second round averaging 32 points per game against Boston. Then game four happened. LeBron shot 39% from the field in a loss. Gossip websites reported Delonte West had slept with LeBron's mother, Gloria James, and that LBJ found out about it just before that game four. This reportedly killed the locker room chemistry and Cleveland lost every game after that. LeBron left Cleveland after that to join the Heat. Now LeBron has since denied all this even happened and Delonte denied it too. He told the Dallas Morning News, quote, number one, something like that never happened. I don't know where they got that from. After that, things started to spiral on the court for Delonte West as well. He only played two more seasons in the NBA for Boston and then Dallas. And in those two seasons, he only played in 68 total games. He was out of the league in 2012 with career earnings of over $16 million. But in the years following, photos and videos of a homeless Delonte West began to pop up. West's family denied most of this was real. And in 2016, his brother Dimitri West told a media outlet Delonte was, quote, not crazy and not on drugs. That was getting harder and harder to believe. His erratic behavior continued on social media too. Delonte posted a tweet that said, LeBron James. Then he appeared to confirm that NBA conspiracy that he slept with LeBron's mom on Instagram. The post said, whose dad was better, Curry or LeBron's? And Delonte said, quote, since King James wanted to talk bad about his pops, I had to repost this, hashtag ha. Huh? To think that someone so close to LeBron would even joke about something like that. Someone LeBron reached out to when he was at his lowest told us even more about the sad mental place Delonte West was in at the time. Along the way, there were positive signs. Vice did this profile of Delonte sometime after he had played overseas. He was happy with his family, but these latest videos tell us things did not get better for Delonte West after all. Those videos came out, went viral around social media. People who knew Delonte West and who didn't know Delonte West started chiming in. 
Even Des Bryant sent out this tweet. What we're seeing right now from Delonte West is propelling forward the conversation about mental illness in pro sports. In the NBA, the conversation has changed a whole lot since Delonte was in the league. Players like Kevin Love or DeMar DeRozan have spoke up and said, I've got an issue, I'm getting help. When Delonte was in the NBA, the conversation was different. There was no conversation. But now that the world has seen how bad it can get for someone like Delonte West, maybe the outpouring of concern will have an effect on Delonte. But Delonte has rejected help from people and even professionals in the past, and that's the biggest concern. I mean, even if LeBron James stepped up and publicly announced in the coming days or months, I forgive Delonte, I don't wanna see him like this, I wanna help. It would mean nothing if Delonte West continues to reject that help. And until then, one of the saddest falls from grace that we've ever seen, not just in the NBA, but in pro sports, will continue to get worse. Support AM Hoops and click subscribe. Don't miss a weekly NBA video.